What is going on y'all? This is Woody and some of y'all may know that I like trying new foods uh, especially from the water. I tried uh, stingray, toadfish, see what else, uh, puffer fish and frog legs. So those are the only things that I tried so far. So today I'm going to try something very very different. I know they're edible because I've seen it but uh I know most of you heard of a mantis shrimp. All right, this is a mantis shrimp right here. And I've seen uh, over in uh, foreign countries that they eat these. So I'm gonna, I caught one today in my crab trap. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So I already have my uh, blue crab. I'm just going to make a little blue crab and everything with butter and uh, Everglades seasoning. I'm going to uh, bake it with that. Uh, with the mantis shrimp to see how it tastes. I heard it tastes like shrimp, so I want to find out for myself. And also, I have a. No, I'm eating with it. I can find it. Oh. Also, I have my fried whiting that I just fried up. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. So let me just prepare it real quick and show y'all here. So here I got my crab. You know, everybody eats crab. But this is my mantis shrimp right here. This would look like. And these are the. I thought it was scary for a minute. I thought it was live. But uh, yeah, supposedly right here is the meat. But I'm not going to break it off yet. I'm just going to bake it whole. So I'm going to go ahead and. I probably won't do nothing with uh, this seasoning. But I'm just going to throw some on it anyway. Just, just because. <laughs> but matter of fact, let me put the butter on it first. I'm going to go ahead and put some butter on it. I washed it off and everything. Put on my crabs. Hopefully the heat will get through the shell. And then I'm gonna season it, season it with some uh, Everglades seasoning right here, fish and chicken. It doesn't say mantis shrimp, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And put some on that. So I'm gonna bake this for about 25 minutes. And I'll get back with y'all and sh show you what it looks like. Okay, everybody, it's out the oven. So let me go ahead and try to find out how to open this thing. I think you just got to pinch the sides here and the meat is right here. The meat is right here. So I got to pinch these sides and get it open. It's still hot. So I'm going to see if I can get it open. All right, so far so good. I just pulled the body off right there. So, hello everybody. Yep. It looks kind of like a lobster. Let's see the meat. So, let me get this part open. I was just trying to do a quick video with my cell phone real quick. Got my cameras. Needs another battery. Alright, y'all. Uh, I got it open. And it's kind of not too satisfied because it only, it only has a little bit of meat. Right there is the meat. So let's get a piece of that meat and put on the fork and try it out. All right, y'all. I picked most of the meat off this uh, mana shrimp. This is basically all the meat that it had, basically. Not that much, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Hmm. Kind of tastes like... Tastes like kind of like lobster or a shrimp. Same deal. It's pretty good though. But it's just too small of a uh, animal to get any meat off of it unless you had a real, real, real big one. But uh, the meat is tasty. So if y'all don't hear from, from me tomorrow, uh, I ate a mantis shrimp and something happened to me. But uh, other than that, it was good. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I got another one off my bucket list, and uh, 
So another thing I want to try is iguana, snake, turtle, just uh, some of the things that I'm trying to try. So hope y'all like the video. Talk to y'all later.